Last time on the National Walleye Tour, we launched day one of the 2021 hey, National that, that, that. Championship from Minnesota's yeah. Otter Tail Lake, where under high skies and calm conditions, anglers found a tough bite. I knew that I'd have to capitalize on everything that happened out on the water, every single bite, and, and we didn't today. By day's end, the top points leaders had fallen to the wayside. Minnesota native and Nitro Pro Tom Wynn capitalized, sacking up five for 16-16 and the lead. Day two launched with wind back in the forecast, and the bites picked up. Tom Wynn took go. advantage, sacking up another 15 right pounds. But rookie pro Eric McCoy busted the door wide open, catching the biggest fish of the week, then backing it up with Got another it. giant. Weighing a limit for 23 pounds, Eric had a near eight pound advantage going into the final day. With nearly $450,000 up for grabs, including three Mercury-powered Ranger boats, it all comes down to this. It's championship time, right here on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Eric McCoy, David Landsteiner's his partner today. Oh my goodness, folks. Welcome back to Otter Tail County in West Central Minnesota. This is the moment where on day two, Eric McCoy took control. Oh, put your hands together, 2372. Bring them here. What are you looking forward to tomorrow? Can you top this? Uh, I don't know if I can top this at, at right now, but we're gonna definitely go out there and try. Fishing his first season as a pro, Eric McCoy is a junior at Bemidji State and has been making a name for himself at local bass events. On the professional walleye circuit, Eric has already scored one top 10 this season and garnered enough points to qualify for the championship, beating out many seasoned anglers, including his father, noted Cabela's pro Kevin McCoy. This is absolutely awesome. You know, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, you always, uh, you always want to do well yourself, but then to watch your son do well, you know, kind of take after your footsteps too, it just, it's so gratifying and, and, uh, and so proud, it's, it, it's unbelievable. Launching his Ranger boat here on day three, the rookie pro has a seven and a half pound lead over the rest of the field. He's just eight hours away from a potential $100,000 payday. But he's up against changing conditions and a stomach full of nerves. It's hard to find words still. It's, I'm going into day three here with a pretty good lead. Uh, the weather changed quite a bit. We have northwest winds now blowing pretty hard and some rain showers moving through. But we're just going to go out there and grind it out and just get our five fish and just go have fun. Launching in second is Minnesota native Tom Wynn, fishing his first year on the tour. Tom is thankful to have made it to the big show. And now he has a shot at a new boat. For being top 10 on the on this and my first year doing it is unbelievable. Like I, after a good season last year on other circuits, I wanted to give this a shot to make sure it wasn't a fluke. And uh, so just being in the championship period, top 40 was my goal, which I thought was, you know, it'd be tough for me to do and it, and it was. Uh, but to be here today, um, is is an awesome feeling. Um, it, I I wouldn't have I, I wouldn't have guessed it. Down to the final moments, anglers are making last minute preparations before tournament director Anthony Wright releases them for the last time this season. We'll get all that underway next, right here on the National Walleye Tour Championship, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. The National Walleye Tour is presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. And by Mercury Marine Outboards, go boldly. Welcome back to final day championship coverage from Otter Tail Lake. We took off this morning with tournament leader, Eric McCoy. His first stop is at the edge of a large shallow flat with steep contours where fish are moving up from deep water to feed. Now we're going to go out there and uh, run the same program to start with. Uh, the wind's 180 degrees difference today and it's raining right now so it should stop here pretty soon. Uh, we're going to have clouds this morning which might make the bite a little bit tougher but the sun's going to pop out this afternoon hopefully that helps later on. 
Fishing with Eric is the leading co-angler, David Landsteiner. Doing a Lindy rig, just dragging it off the back here with a leech. Um, just trying to keep it off the weeds, but there's so many in here, it's just got to keep clearing the bait, so at least have a chance here. <laughs> with one eye on his electronics, Eric is basically hunting active fish. He told us he caught very few during pre-fish, but he's been on fire since. Fish. Bigger or small? Oh. Small? Yeah. There we go. That's fish number Bring one. Back. 18 and a quarter. Good That's start. it. We're about 10 minutes into the day. We just got our first 18 and a quarter. Uh, it's, it feels good to put that first one in the box so soon. Um, There's some water in there. Yeah. We're, you're ready to go. We're, we're off to a good start right now. We're just going to keep grinding away. Uh, a couple of fish just moved up onto this. There's a couple on that school right there, so we're going to get back to them and try to catch a few more quick. While Eric and David reset, we'll check in with Tom Wynn and co-angler James Youngblood. Just a couple of casts into their morning, and Tom sets the hook on their first. Net. Switch sides. We're good, we're good. Okay. Fish number one, two minutes in. Here's a start. Here's a start. And hope that's all it is, just a start. Here we go. Right there. Let's get them. Let's get them. I think they're sliding up and down, shallow and deep, right here. And uh, you got guys fishing all uh, aspects of the contour of the water column here. So. Back on Isle, Minnesota's Eric McCoy and co-angler David Landsteiner. Keeping his boat fish. in about 15 feet, David is blind casting up onto the flat, while Eric Everyone? targets specific yeah. fish he's locating on his electronics. Eric sets the hook, and David's ready with the net. They've already got two in the live well. This one, if it's a walleye, will surely be number three. Just clobbered it. Okay. You That's one of the three largest fish caught all week. Uh, and Eric woo! has caught them all. Oh my goodness sakes, guys. Beautiful 27 and a quarter incher. Oh, that feels good. Brother. Right. Brother, this is like a dream come true, man. Good job. Woo. That oh. feeling when you realize you might have just locked up the national championship. If you've ever thought about competing on the premier walleye tour in the country, the schedule's out. Look it up at nationalwalleytour.com. Or for the latest news and info, check out our Facebook and Instagram pages. We'll be right back with more championship coverage right here on the National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stay close. The National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, is also brought to you by Triton Boats, the driving force of performance fishing. AFTCO, any fish, any water. Abu Garcia, for life. And by Nitro Boats, pro-level performance. Welcome back to Otter Tail Lake. We're nearing the midway point on the final day of the season. This is Alexandria, Minnesota's Drake Hurd. Coming into this week third in the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year points race, Drake all but sealed up the title by qualifying to fish today. 
you should have just won the anger of the year. We'll have to make sure to do the math, but you should have just won it. That is a gigantic accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> He's on a run and gun pattern with co-angler Greg Ballerina. How's it been going for you this morning so far? Um, so far this morning, I mean, it's been all right. We've missed some bites and stuff, but we got our five fish. Um, so we'll just kind of keep plugging away here. Um, they're down there. I'm, I was kind of excited to see this win. So we'll see what happens for this afternoon. It's only 11:20, 11:30, so we got plenty of time throughout the day here. So we'll just keep moving spots and see if we can't pick one or two up. What's your strategy for targeting these fish here? Um, as far as the strategy goes, you know, we're just kind of drifting up shallow. There's a few little rock piles kind of scattered throughout the, the area here. So we're just kind of drifting up over them when this wind picks up and pushes that bait and everything goes up shallow. So we're just taking a drift through. It's kind of tough to pull right now against this wind. So we're just going to kind of drift through and see if we can't pick up a big one. Do, do, do. Okay, right about here should be good. This is two time overall and reigning champ Jason Shakira. Jason's qualified for every tour championship since 2013, winning twice with two additional top 10 finishes. Uh, we are sitting on Otter Tail Lake in Minnesota. It's a brand new lake to me. I've never fished a tournament here, but um, after pre-fishing it for about six, seven days, uh, it's, been, it's been tough. I'm not going to lie. It's been uh, tough conditions. We've had wind every day, anywhere from 15 to 20 up to gusts of 30. And, and that's put a, a little bit of a challenge on us just to uh, be able to get around and use our electronics and be able to sit on the spot on the spot and look for these fish. And, and we've caught fish, but it's been it's been a grind just to get a limit every day. Starting the day in fifth, he's fishing Woo! with Neil Wilkinson, and they've got three in the box. <laughs> that thing come right up at the boat and smoked it. Oh, we needed that one bad. A little fluke style. That's it, right there. Just imitating a shiner and voila, 21. Well, we got our overs. That's a 21, a 20 and a half, and then two little ones. We got like a 16 and a 15 or something like that. So that about right? Yeah. yeah. I'm just throwing a quarter ounce jig, a little fluke style bait, just a fork tail on it. Just imitating the shiners that are out here. There's a ton of shiners and a ton of perch. And um, I'm just, I'm rip jigging it. So it's really flashy down there. I'm really not anywhere near the bottom. And just making it flash and dart and they just absolutely inhale it. So just uh, running it on braided line with a little fluorocarbon leader and ripping around these weed edges. Moving on, this is Dan Stahusky and Steve Beasley. Ripping jigs has paid off for Dan all week, but the wind direction change seems to have repositioned his fish. They've got a small limit, but the bite's since gone quiet. Been run through rotation today, just bouncing between spots. Uh, you know, the wind switch moved the fish around, so we, we went around looking for arm. We found a, a good pot of them, but uh, they turned off on us. We boxed most of our fish from one location, but uh, couldn't get bit for the past uh, couple hours here. We put a couple more fish in the boat in a couple other spots, but uh, kind of came back to here because we got some better ones out here yesterday. Even though it's not the right wind, we're trying it anyway for a little bit here just to see if we can snag another good one out of here. We're gonna be running over some weeds real quick here, Steve. So keep your uh, keep it from dropping all the way to the bottom. Well, we're trying to get the uh, last minute upgrades here. We need uh, um, like to get one more over if we could, but uh, uh, right now uh, uh, <coughs> scramble time. 
and you never know. Using the last 15 minutes was a big flurry of action. The sun just popped out, so we're looking for uh, good things to happen here. With the season winding down, it's time to start thinking about next year. For schedules and information, check us out at nationalwalleyetour.com. And for the best selection in tackle, boats, and electronics, head on over to Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Coming up, the National Walleye Tour heads to weigh in. Stay with us. The National Walleye Tour, presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, is also brought to you by Lucas Oil and High Performance Marine Products. TH Marine, from transom to trolling motor. And by Sunline, the strength to guarantee confidence. Welcome back to Minnesota's Otter Tail County and the final moments of the 2021 National Walleye Tour Championship presented to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. We started three days ago with 40 of the best pro and co-anglers in the country and now we're down to the top 10. There's close to $450,000 in total purse available, including a Mercury-powered Ranger boat for first and second place on the pro side and another for the co-angler champion. Also in play is the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year, and on the pro side, that honor went to Nitro Pro Drake Hurd. This is Angler of the Year, folks. It is incredibly hard to get. There you go, buddy. Hold it up. That's your time in the spotlight. It's a big thing for Angler of the Year is to be consistent. How are you consistent? Uh, throughout the year this year. Yeah, in all honesty, I was kind of thinking about this last night, and in all honesty, I mean, I got to cast at uh, four events. The only event that I didn't do well in was Erie, and I was trolling. So uh, if I can get to cast, and I tell you what, that Garmin Live Scope, there's something special there. Eric just put on a clinic here, um, but that's what we've been doing all year is just you picking off these fish with casting and and to be able to do that with that live scope, I mean, it's something else. If you're not, if you don't have it, it's pretty crazy. So I contributed a lot to that. But then, I mean, having a great team. I got Eric and Kevin. You know, we're going to these events, uh, you know, for nine days at a time away from our family. And you got to like the guys that you're doing that with. And those are two are the greatest guys out there. So um, it's going to be awesome. I'm just going to relax for a little bit, have a few cocktails, and go from there. Heading to the scales, we're down to the top three. Mercury Pro Edge to Husky was the first to overtake Eric McCoy's day two lead. He'll take the hot seat. How about, folks? 1361, new leaders right here. Shake hands with McCoy. All right, shake hands, Steve. New leaders. All right, while he bumps that next guy up, tell me about your day. You're leading it. Did the same thing we did the past two days. It's really simple. Three eight ounce jig, four inch piece of plastic. Rip it as hard as you can, your elbow's gonna fall off at the end of the day. We tried our hearts out. Uh, we probably made a thousand casts today. We put a lot of fish in the boat, just not, not that one. Tom Wynn and James Youngblood are next. Tom, do you have it? 1304, way to go! Put it there. We had a good we had a good day. Uh, we caught fish early. And I'm glad to be here, and I will probably see you guys again next year. And now we're down to one. Eric McCoy and David Landsteiner make their way to the scales. Eric, put them in there. James, come here and stand by David, and we're gonna see how this all plays out. One of the heaviest bags of the week, folks. 1921. It's gonna take a couple days to sink in. It's uh, it was an amazing three days out on the water where nothing went wrong and it was a it was a tough practice. I only had seven walleyes all practice, and then to go out there and just crush them the last three days is it was so much fun. Today you, you started out with a, a good size lead. Uh, you felt pretty comfortable coming out there, but uh, the first uh, three four three fish were, were were kind of on the short side of unders. And then you, you got that good one. How did that feel? Uh, it was a, a really good feeling to get that big one. Now, I, that put us up to probably just over 10 pounds for the day, and that was only at 10 o'clock this morning. So we, that was only our, our fourth fish. We were just grinding out a couple couple more hours, and didn't take too long to catch catch the next under. And then a couple hours later, we got, we got another big one. 
And there you go. Rookie pro in Bemidji State Junior, Eric McCoy picks up the title and a $121,000 prize package for a dominating performance. On the co-angler side, David Landsteiner picks up his first title, earning a $48,000 boat, motor, and cash package of his own. It feels awesome, man. Um, it's finally starting to set in a little bit. Um, I didn't know what to expect with the other bags, you know, coming in today. You, you know, obviously know this, and so just to see how much of a lead that I actually had at the end of the day, um, I wish I would have known that because then I would have took some pressure off. But um, it's never going to be something I ever forget. Um, probably going to go to the pro side myself next year and try that next challenge. There's your champions, folks. First place. Two brand new boats right there. Awesome, awesome job. And that'll do it for the 2021 season of the National Walleye Tour presented by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Join us next season when we kick things off on the Detroit River. For schedules and registration, go to nationalwalleyetour.com or look us up on Instagram and Facebook. A big thanks to the folks in Otter Tail County. If you're headed to the region, look them up at ottertaillakescountry.com. This has been an Outdoor Teamworks and Careco TV presentation. We'll see you next time.